Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting news coming from the folks at Weta Digital. Weta Digital is one of the world's most renowned visual effects studio and these guys have created beautiful and amazing cinematic visual effects and also lovely pictures over time. So in case you have no idea what this company or who these people are, they are the folks behind the visual effects and also some of the amazing works on Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Avatar, Game of Thrones, Planet of the Apes, and so much more. So they've won tons and tons of awards and it is very interesting to see that right now that they are thinking about rolling out something known as Weta M. Weta M is more of a cloud-based subscription service that will only be available to Maya artists. Now it's obvious that these folks or you know huge VFX houses actually work with Maya as it's sort of reliable in handling tons and tons of shots which have been thrown to it and in most cases this is one of the tools that you would definitely need to have as part of your arsenal in one way or the other if you choose to work in a VFX house. So it is very cool to see that right now they are actually thinking about rolling out Weta M as a subscription service. Although this subscription service is going to be available within the fourth quarter of this year and right now they're also talking about the fact that this is going to be within a private beta. So I'm also going to talk about the private beta and how you can join that but it is just very interesting to see that at this point indie artists will be able to have access to amazing and unique tools that the folks at Weta Digital are actually working with. Now for the very first time artists around the world will have complete access access and when I'm talking about complete access the tools that you'll be getting according to you know their press statement is about a hundred unique tools that they've created and we're talking about beautiful tools like barbershop for hair creation and styling I have no idea if that's the same tool that they use for simulation there is also the lumberjack which is a procedural three generator I would definitely love to play with that one there's a new ecosystem simulator which is known as Totara and uh, there is also something that you probably might have seen before so it's just in case you've also seen the Gemini Man, the animation system that was used for the facial is known as facial and of course there is an AI based facial animation tool set that you'll be having access to. Kuru is definitely something else that makes a lot of sense that I would also want to try since the Maya evaluation system seems not to be the best at this point when compared to this. Of course it's the best in the industry at this point but when compared to what you can see with Kuru, especially when you have lots of characters running at the same time this looks extremely extremely cool so tons of tools that will be available to indie and also professional artists right now once this gets rolled out so there is also some very beautiful thing about this one that actually makes uh, a lot of sense for me this is not coming as a plugin it's not coming as an add-on and i highly doubt that this is something you have to work on your browser right now they are saying is a custom version of maya so the launch actually marks the very first product launch under the newly formed software as a service division within Weta and you know from a business standpoint I think it's just very interesting and pretty cool for these to be available. How much this is going to cost is still unknown. What countries this will be available for? This is also something that is totally unknown right now. So the intended rollout for private beta is in the fourth quarter of the year. So in case you are also excited about this as well, maybe you want to test out some of these professional tools within the private beta, you can send an email to wetam at wetafx.co dot nz and uh, that's new zealand so you can send an email just to be able to join the database so once this is available you would also be notified and you might want to read more about what the ceo is talking about and uh, you might also want to read a very good note that they made for autodesk so this is also going to be available i'm going to put all these links in the description so you can do well to check these things out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section the tools for professionals are now going to be available for commercial uses so you can lay your hands and start working with it. I'm quite excited for Maya artists right now because for a very long time there has been little to no new tool available for them and uh, the fact that there is this tool which is definitely going to change the dynamics and also change how people get to work rather than just buy plugins and plugins you know one full set of tool will make a lot of sense and I think it's going to impact and also change the way most Maya artists actually work with stuff that they have. So this is more like it. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like the video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video 
or the next update. And until I see you guys again with your tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.